Hello everyone! On my previous ship build, I tried to do something different with this popular Nova Galactic cockpit because I had people telling me that every design that they've seen, this cockpit is at the front and we needed something different, so I tried that. But I wasn't 100% liking the design that I did. So I made some changes to the previous build and I think we fixed some of the issues. And one thing that was bothering me a lot was the amount of ladders that I had. I think I had like a two or three ladders. So in this one, we fix it, we make it just one because the ship has three levels. So one was the minimum. I think this design looks a little bit better than the original one. This angle, I think is the best angle of this ship. From the front, it's not as good, but it's not bad either. What I don't like so much is the side. The side looks, looks strange, looks a little bit weird. I don't know, I might try to fix this, I don't know, maybe lower a level or something like that. But from the side, it's strange and the back, the back is okay, it's not too bad. We made it still pretty powerful. This is not a weak sauce ship. So let's take a look at the stats. We have 1596 in hull, that's pretty good. Now shield, I didn't go with the max shield. The max shield is 1600. This one I went with the second best, 1450. Uh, mostly because I wanted to keep the 6,000 cargo and maintain the 100 mobility. If you don't need that much cargo, you have the option to lower that. And if you want, you can go with a better shield to give you the max of 1,600. Crew is somehow 11. I mean, the max is nine, but whatever. Jump range, 30 light years, you know, mobility, like we said, 100, top speed, 130, and the mass, 41. 95. So it's a pretty well built ship. You will destroy everything and that is at very hard difficulty. You will still melt pretty much everything. I do have some really cool weapons for that as well. This is my favorite, the PBO 300 Alto Alpha. I know that there is a better weapon than this one, but I do like the color scheme. So I kept this one. The other one is the PB100 Neutron Beam. I could have changed this one to the PB175, but it was still doing the job, so I didn't find any need to change it. And then I also have the MKE 4A auto gauss gun. I could have gone with the MKE 9 auto gauss gun, but that one you could only have three, and this one I can have four of them, so I chose quantity over damage. We have 12 guns on this ship. I'm gonna take you guys really quick to see the inside before I take it apart and show you guys how to build this. So as you come up from the landing bay, there is this one by one hub. I do like having one by ones leading to the landing bay. It's just more open. So here at the front, we just have a two by one, only one berth. This is from Deimos. It's pretty open, it's pretty nice. And then this is one of the hub spines. To the back, it leads to a living quarters, a two by two living quarters from Strau. And then I have here on the side, a two by one work station. And that leads to a two by one research station. So there's a window at the back. I think this one is a good location. It looks pretty good. And if we go all the way across the other side, there is here a captain's quarters, which I think is pretty nice here in this location. You know, there's a window at the back and this is from Tayo. I do think I like it. I could probably remove this window. I mean, it's a bad view, but this one is actually pretty decent. And the Tayo has a navigation console and kind of this kind of sitting area. So it looks pretty decent, pretty nice. Now, after we come out, another has spine that leads to the companion way one by one. This is for the docker and this is the only ladder in the ship. So this is the one that we have to use to get to the second level. And this is the two by three mess hall from Nova Galactic. I have a couple of uh, portholes, a couple of windows. 
here on the other side as well. I think the views are decent. And then this leads to the 2x2 two two Navagalactic Living Quarters. And this one is probably one of my favorites because of all the open space here. You can run straight into the cockpit, no obstructions and nothing. There's a pool table here. And then here on the other side is the 2x1 only one berth from Nova Galactic. Now, I put a window here. If you don't put a window here, instead you will have a, a research station actually here. But the window kind of got rid of it. So you guys can make your call if you want a window or a research station. And then finally, this leads now to the cockpit. And the copy is what leads to the third floor. And we have a two by one control station and inside two by two battle station. This is from Strat. I do like this battle station quite a lot. I put two windows here. I'm assuming it makes sense, you know, a battle station. You kind of want to be able to see outside, see your enemies behind, etc. etc. So it kind of makes sense. And then I put another control station here i could probably change it to like a computer core or something else instead of another control station but anyway so that's the interior it's pretty streamlined it does have kind of a little bit of everything you know and the only thing is just you know that one single ladder that i wish it were not there but eh, it's okay Okay, so I split the ship into different layers, different sections. And before we start going over the parts, here is the shopping list of all the unique parts. As usual, go to those specific locations, buy those unique parts first, put it however you want on the ship that you want to use. Then go back to your own outpost, your own large landing bay and do the building there so that at least you have all the structural parts in one place. And with that out of the way, let's go over all the parts. Now, starting here from the very beginning, we have a Deimos braking engine structure, leading that into a Deimos only one berth, two by one, and then we have a one by one storeroom, and then that leads to a hub spine. Then behind that, we have a two by two living quarters, Next to that is a two by one workshop. Behind that, we have another Hope Tech Hub Spine. And behind that, we have a Tayo Companion Way. Now, we're gonna go to some of the things that are on the side. So this is another structure. This is the Nova Coaling. Behind that, we have a 220 landing gear. This is from Deimos. We have another coaling. This is the same of this one, but it's just a different variant. So if you use the arrow, you can switch to a different variant so this is the middle variant and next here we have a demos wing a and another demos wing a at the back and then in the middle here we have a hope tech hub cross brace this is same as the hub spine it's just for going side to side instead and here we have a helium tank this is the 600t helium tank I put a couple of portholes, windows here, and we have a few more structure here at the top. This is the Deimos Spine A. We have the Deimos Radiator and another Deimos Spine A just flipped. So before we go to the wings, we are going to take a look at the bottom. We have the Hope 5 landing gear here. This one attaches at the bottom. Actually, it's attaching to the hub, not to this structure part. That goes in here. We have a NG20 landing gear here in the center. Another Hope Tech landing gear. Here we have a 20ST sheltered cargo hold. And behind we have three NG20s in a row. This one is a different variant from the other two. This is also another variant. And then behind here at the end we have the Deimos Docker. And we have two tire landing gears attached next to the docker. These are the pinpoint 3G landing gears. And behind here on the docker, I have this whole tech nose B. It's just a structure to kind of conceal the looks. 
And that is, oh, we have hidden here. I have two more cargo holds. These are the Cavell V102 cargo holds. It's just two small ones next to the helium tanks. And that is the bottom, the first layer and the second layer. And oh, the two weapons here, the MKE-4s. And then let's go to one of the wings. So we have here a two by one half. I made this one the captain's quarters. We have the Nova weapon mount where I have the PB100, two of them mounted and the PBO300 Auto Alpha. Then let's talk about the engines. We have the Tayo mid cap, two at the top, two at the bottom flipped. So these are all structures. And this one is the Tayo braking engine. And then we have the Salt 6830 engine here at the back. And this, oh, I put a couple of portholes, one here, there's another round one at the back. I put less portholes than I usually do actually in this build. So this whole thing goes here mm -hmm. and this attaches to the brace so that you know you can go from one end to the other. And that is it from these two levels, right? Am I missing anything? I don't think I miss anything. So that is good, that's it. So let's go to the second level or the third layer. This one's pretty simple. We have a bunch of hubs. We have the two by two Nova Galactic living quarters. This is the one that has the pool table here in this corner. I like it quite, quite a lot. Then we have here a two by one, only one berth of Nova Galactic as well. And this behind is the Nova Galactic mess hall, two by three. Behind that we have the grab drive, the G52. And then next to it, I have two Nova wings on each side. Then we have here a Nova braking engine. Behind that, we have a Nova radiator. And to that, we have another engine attached. So we have the tire mid cap, top and bottom. This one is just one on one, braking engine and the engine. And that is it for this level. So a couple of portholes again here and here at the back. And this one, we can just highlight everything and we can just bring it in and it should just align perfectly here. So the engines just align. Now to the last level, we just have the cockpit followed by the two by one Nova Galactic. I made this one a control station. And here is a two by two battle station. And then I have another one, a Stroud control station. So I kind of make all these top level control stations. You could change this one for something else and drop the max crew number because you don't need 11 max crew. We have two more helium tanks. These are the M10 Ulysses. And then behind that, we have a Nova radiator. So now this, we can highlight it and this goes here. So the cockpit overhangs to the other level. We can put the helium tanks back in. Final layer, we have the Nova coating, another Nova coating. This is just a different variant. So this is the middle variant. Behind that, we have a Hope Tech Cap B. This is a structure. Behind that, we have the SS40 reactor. And then on top, we have the Vanguard Purwar shield. Now, next to that, we have here a Galeon S203 cargo hold. So two on each side, the Nova weapon mount mounted to that. Two more weapons, the PBO 300 and the MKE 4A. So on top of that, the Demo Spine A and the Demo Tail. And after that, we have the Tayo mid cap. Now here, instead of another structure, another mid cap, I actually put a, a cargo hole, the Galeon S203, because you know you don't kind of you don't notice kind of they have the same shape. So I use that. And then finally at the back, we have another engine. So that is it for this top layer. And now we can also highlight this. I don't think we can highlight all of it. We probably have to do it part by part. This one goes here. So keep in mind, it goes a little bit towards the back. So we highlight this one. This one goes in here. This one's here. 
this one here and this it goes in here and there you have it so these two engines they sit flush but not this one this one is a little bit behind give it kind of this waterfall effect all right so so that is it for this build i made a few changes hopefully it looks better than the previous version let me know what you guys think is this better is this a good design and if you have any suggestions let me know as well thank you all for watching enjoy the game have fun i love you all i'll see you in the next video